Hello friends, how are you doing? In the video of today, we'll learn together how to apply for visa for Brunei step by step. So what are the main things that you will learn after watching this video? After watching this video, you will learn how to find and fill the application form completely by yourself, how and where to submit your application form, and in the end, we'll tell you everything about the required documents that you will need while applying for the visa. But before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you watch this video till the end. So if we look together at the visa policy of Brunei, just click over this link over here, this page will appear in front of you and it will show you the visa policy map of Brunei. And as you can see, some countries can travel to Brunei uh, without any need for any visa for 90 days like uh, United uh, States and almost all European uh, countries, others for uh, 30 days like Turkey, others for 14 days like Canada, Russia, others for uh, other can obtain a visa on arrival for uh, 30 days like Saudi Arabia, others can obtain it for 14 uh, days like China for the rest of the world, almost all the African countries, India, Pakistan and Central Asian countries and almost the rest of uh, the Latin American countries you will have to apply for visa from the embassy of Brunei in your country. So the first and the most important part during applying for any visa is filling the application form. In this section we will learn together how to find the application form and how to fill the application form step by step. To download the visa application form you can find the visa application form here just click over this link over here this page will appear in front of you and from here just click fill the visa application form attach and this is the visa application form for Brunei this is the official visa application form you will have to uh, download it print it and fill it completely manually by yourself and in the end don't forget to uh, write the date and the signature and you will have then uh, to submit this visa application form along with all the required documents that we will be speaking about in the end of this video to the embassy of Brunei in your country so to find out about the embassy of Brunei around the world just click over this link over here this page will appear in front of you and will show you a list of the missions of Brunei around the world what you need to do is to just choose the first letter of your country if you live for example in any of this country in Iceland in the Republic in of the Republic of India you can find here all the details over here this is the official website this is the address the phone numbers the fax and the email just click on your country and this is a place where you will have to submit the visa application form so what are the required documents that you will need while applying for any visa? Speaking about your passport, your passport must be original and it must not be older than 10 years with at least 6 months of remaining validity and with at least 2 blank visa pages for the stamps. In many cases you will need also a passport photocopy. It might be one copy or more than one and it's preferred to be colored and both data page and photo page must be shown if separated. In some cases you might be required to photocopy every single page of your passport. But in general, only the data page and the photo page are the needed ones. Speaking about the personal pictures, you will need at least two personal pictures. Sometimes only one is needed, other times three pictures are needed, but in general, there are only two. They must be new, not older than six months. It should be clear and show your full face. And it is preferred to be with white background. And you should give normal and neutral expressions. No head or face covering is acceptable except for religious reasons. Speaking about the visa application form, in general cases, you need only one copy of the visa application form but sometimes you might be required to submit two copies or even three visa forms are different from a country to another in general cases you should print it and fill it manually but many countries now are providing their application form in an online platform so you can fill the application form online and after that you can print it and sign it anyway for the application form you just fill it as we do in the video in most of the visa application processes you will be required to provide a proof of status for example if you are an employee 
you will have to provide a letter from your employer or from your HR department mentioning your name, your work detail, and your salary. And both address and contact numbers should be mentioned also in that letter. And all letters must have an original signature and a stamp. But in case you are the owner of the company or you run your own business, then your commercial registry and your tax card must be presented. But if you are a student in a school or a college, an enrollment letter should be provided from your university or your school. In some certain cases, you might be applying from a country different than your own country. At that moment, you will need to provide a proof of a legal status, which is a certificate of legal residence in this country. And in some cases, a valid residence visa for this country can be also accepted. You will also need to provide a proof of sufficient funds, which is a bank statement stating your balance for at least six months. The original bank statement must show your name and should be signed and stamped by the bank representatives. And remember that cash will not be accepted as a proof of funds. You should also provide a flight reservation. It could be an initial booking, but in some minor cases, you will need to provide a confirmed booking. And remember that this flight reservation must include a return ticket. You will also need to provide a proof of accommodation. It could be a confirmed hotel reservation or an invitation from a host in this country or an invitation from an organization you are visiting in this country. For a hotel or hostel, an initial booking is acceptable, but in some minor cases, you might need to provide a confirmed booking. And anyway, the name of your hotel must be mentioned and the address and the contact number but in case you are invited by a person either the letter of invitation should be mailed directly to the embassy or to be submitted by you accompanied by a copy of the passport of that inviting person many countries also especially the schengen area countries require you to provide a traveling insurance and you have to be careful and to apply through the companies that are accepted officially in these countries for example in case for schengen area countries there are some certain specifications for this travel insurance like the insurance coverage must be at least 30,000 euros and in general cases you can apply for this insurance online so i know that some of you are not familiar with how to make a flight booking or how to make a hotel booking or even how to make a travel health insurance so in this section i will be teaching you how to make all these things step by step there are many sites you can use for booking your hotel like booking.com hotels uh, expedia orbits priceline hotwire kayak agoda all these sites but in this video i will be teaching you how to make your booking from booking.com so this is booking.com website lists let's check this uh, website together here you need to write your destination where are you traveling let's for example say uh, i'm traveling to athens greece for example and my check-in date will be um 23rd of may and my checkout date for example will be okay the third of june and how many people i will say only one adult and click search all right then okay here i am having all the offers here um the price here um the currency is in egyptian bound i would like to show it in us dollars so i will choose us dollars over here okay and that is uh the price for essence 130 this hotel um okay and that's for 11 nights for one adult um you can also make some filters for example like you want to uh, okay top big of your uh bigs of your search you want to arrange it depending on the distance the cheapest uh, the price is the cheapest first or the lowest first okay let's see if we can get much better offer okay there is also some other cheaper offers uh 107 for 11 nights this one this one this one a uh, zorba's hostel there are many offers so and also you can see the score of each hostel as um, the experience people are giving reviews also so let's check something which is okay this one is with good review uh, so let's check it for example once you open the hostel page like that 
you will see all the pictures inside the hostel and your details and you can also get some informations about the facilities the house rules uh, the guest reviews also you can read the guest reviews here uh, to know about uh, the experience they had there so there is a single bed in a male dormit uh, dormitory room all right so and this is the price uh, okay price for 11 nights okay there are two different prices here but this one is with uh, breakfast breakfast is included so let's say that i don't want a breakfast i will take my breakfast outside so i will choose one and um, here they are telling you what are the extra things that you'll find it's one bunk bed there is balcony city view air conditioning a soundproof terrace and a free wi-fi you can even see more here so let's say i'm okay with this choice i will click i will reserve and once you click i will reserve okay there is free cancellation until that 21 of may so there's free can cancellation also no payment needed today you will pay when you stay so you can pay in uh, the host itself you are booking the last available single bed in male dormitory room we have in athens uh, place okay uh, are you traveling for work yes or no i will say no and here you give your details first name last name email address it's very important confirm email address and i'm telling you it is much better to register because once you register you already uh, give all your details and you don't have to fill your details over and over after filling all these sections add to your stay do you i'm interested in uh, requesting an airport shuttle if you want uh, a car to take you from the airport or something or do you have any uh, special request and once you just fill all these sections over here you just you just click on uh, final details okay once you click on final details uh, then you will review your booking and you will click confirmation and then they will send you an information an uh, email with the confirmation to your email you will have to print this uh, email and this will be uh, the hotel booking or the hostel booking that you will need to submit along with the visa application papers there are many sites for making an online flight booking like uh, momondo kayak expedia orbit sky scanner and uh, price line but in this video i will show you how to make your flight booking using priceline.com so this is priceline uh, com and here we are booking our flight and i want to show you why i like this site it is departing from let's say for example i am going from india from delhi delhi indira gandhi and i'm going for example to okay sri lanka for example colombo sri lanka and i am only one adult uh, what i like here is they are showing the prices the cheapest like depending on the day you can choose the cheapest price depending on the day so you have more flexibility so let's okay i will travel as a 24th for example and after that the second date oh no i want to check wait i want to check both prices okay this price over here and this okay this one is also cheap so no again this one tell this one let's check it again okay done and once you click done this page will open in front of you and they will show me all the deals and all the prices all right so this is the price for a round trip uh for from uh colombo from delhi to colombo and they are even giving me the name of uh of the airline it is vistara and there is also some other prices here like air india okay so let's just click on this one
okay so now i need to choose my return flight also i will choose this one as my return flight or you can choose another flight here uh, as a return flight they are flexible but i will choose this one as my return flight and here i have my departure flight and i have also my return uh, flight from new delhi to colombo at the day and from colombo to new delhi at the day and now i need to make a check out so i will click here continue to check out okay if you would like to add any other things like a car shuttle to take you from uh, the airport to your hotel or your hostel then you can just add it or you can also add a hotel here from price price line but i will say no i just would need to continue to the checkout i'm not adding any of this uh, of these things all right okay so here you give your first name your last name your date of birth and your and this middle name is optional so just let's give some informations here date of birth also okay okay just one second for example and then click continue mail continue and and here to secure billing here you need to fill the details of your credit card over here and your billing address over here and once you click continue after that this section will appear in front of you to review your uh, booking and to confirm your booking and this way you can make your flight booking by yourself you don't have to use this website you can use any other website but i just wanted to show you how you can do it by yourself for applying for travel health insurance online for schengen area those are some uh, sites like uh, mondial card axa schengen schengen europe assistance and uh, inspire but in this video i will show you how to make your uh, travel insurance using axa schengen all right so this is axa schengen.com from where you can get uh, schengen travel insurance for europe here you have different types like low cost europe travel or uh, multi-trip so what is the difference between all these things for low cost it is up to 30 thousand euros and this is the required rate for europe so you can apply for it there's also another one for much more for a hundred thousand euros and there is another one for hundred thousand euros and but this one bear a year so let's just go for the low cost for the thirty thousand, the one that we need and the number of people this is the number of people and um i'm traveling let's say at the first of may and here is the end of may and get a quota so this is the price that i got um this travel insurance uh, for 30 thousand euros will cost me uh to completely totally 56 euros so you can just uh, you if you want to get this also by email you can just write your email here and then um okay i need uh, i have read and received the price procedures and all these things i agree uh, to enter uh partner okay and then click continue and here you get this is a part for the subscription here you fill all your details uh your name and the name the details of the beneficiary which is you also uh who is paying if you're the same person then you just write uh, uh like your name up here and down here and after that click confirm once you click confirm you move to the payment section where you make your payment and after making your payment you get to the confirmation where you receive a pdf copy 
of your travel insurance. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and write your comment or questions down in there in the comment section and see you in the next video.